So here we have the Ford C-Max on a 65 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside from there. Uh, from the outside though, you can see that it's a five door car. Let's start off inside the boot, first of all. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors. Plenty of boot space along with the individually folding rear seats that you can fold down. Uh, and we've got the two rear seats uh, folded away into the boot section that you can see just there. So you can turn this vehicle into a seven seater should you wish to do that. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside of it from there. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter. We have the speedometer on the right-hand side. In the center at the bottom, the fuel gauge and coolant temperature gauges, and above that, the main trip computer, which includes the total mass of the car. They are 56,572. We have a trip computer above that uh, with various bits of trip computer and fuel economy information. You can have these four bits of information displayed simultaneously. We've also got a digital readout for the speedometer as well. And the buttons I was using to access that information are just here. Over on the right-hand side, we have stereo and phone controls. The phone controls can only be used after you pair the phone to the car. And that is done using the buttons just here particularly, of course, the phone button and the screen directly above it. Uh, we are not, of course, going to pair a phone at the moment, so I'm going to close that section down. When it comes to music, you just heard, but we've got the radio, of course. Uh, so this car has got uh, FM radio, as you can see. It's also got DAB and AM. And you can access those by pressing the radio button and then using the arrows just here. Uh, if you'd like to listen to your own music, you can do. You can do that via the CD player. We've also got Bluetooth audio, so you can stream your music wirelessly. We've got auxiliary input as well. So plenty of ways to listen to your music. You can see the USB input just below the screen there, in fact. Main volume for the stereo is just here. Beneath that, we have the air conditioning. So you can adjust the fan speed, the temperature, and the direction the air is being distributed in. When you're happy with those settings, this button will turn your air conditioning off or back on again. With a heated rear screen and a proper heated front screen just there. We can turn off the stop and start. This car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. Turn the system off via the button just here. We have a six speed manual gearbox and then a 12 volt charging socket as well. All that leads me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Surrey Specialist Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.